Inside a mass family, the levels really represent horizontal planes. They don't necessarily have to be representing the floors. They're really just used to help you draft the geometry at the appropriate heights. So in this mass family, you can copy geometry from one level to another. You can edit the individual faces, edges, or vertices that make up those mass forms to get the finished building. When you take this building into the project and you want to do the analysis, if your intent is actually that the levels inside the mass family are the same as where the mass floors are, then you'd need to set that in the project to match what you've got in the family. So this was just another way of showing that you can create rooms or activities or zones um, inside the context of the building that you're drafting uh, and combine them just in the way that you draft them to create the finished building form, working really from the inside out. Okay, so I want to show another way of creating uh, a mass with multiple forms. In this particular example, I'm in a mass family, so I, I started the process already. What, what I want to show you is that uh, in, in this family, you can use the levels um, simply as horizontal planes on which you want to draw a sketch, or you could uh, make the assumption that these are actually the floor to floor heights. So in this example, what I'm going to do is create a 16 foot floor to floor height. I'm going to use my levels for floors. So I'm thinking that the ground two floors might be commercial and then above that maybe I've got floor to floor heights of 12 feet. Um, and now I'm get ready to, dr to draw the form that I want on the ground floor. So if I, if, I, uh, if I click on the sketch, make sure this says level one, I'll make it just 100 feet by 100 feet. So I'm drawing it in. 100 feet by 100 feet. I can, I can grab the sketch, say create me a solid form. What's a little bit different here, before when I was using uh, this, I was using the temporary dimensions, but you see if I, if I use the push-pull controls, I can move this so it aligns with the height that I want from my floor to floor. I'm just kind of parking it in space. I'm not, I'm not locking the relationship. I'm just trying to stay very fluid in the way that I, I draft with the product. I can hit the tab key to select that form that I've got, my 16 foot form. And I can say copy to clipboard and paste aligned to selected level. So the aligned will make sure it's immediately above what's already there. And I'll be able to pick from the, the levels to choose which one I'm putting it on. So. Levels one and two were going to be commercial. Tab to select the overall form. Copy to clipboard, paste, align to selected levels. Let's say I put it on three. Uh, I'm going to grab the top and adjust this. You should see that it uh, highlight when I moved it. So I can see it was set to the right height. Now I'm going to take that residential. Let's do tab. This form is going to represent residential. Copy to clipboard, paste, align to selected levels. Um, and I'm going to pick with the control key down four and five. So I copied it up. Now I usually just confirm by turning the model that this is what I've drawn. Now, so the, the advantage of this now is the flexibility you've got with push-pull operations. I've got multiple forms. And if I want, for example, to take the second story and set it back to 95 feet. You see, I can adjust the face. So if I pick it, uh, let's, let's make that 90. So I'm going to step them back at five foot intervals. And uh, 85. And the last one on the top here, 80. Okay, so if I wanted to do this on the side, I'm going to set them back just quickly, so 
90. Okay, but what I, what I also want to show is that inside the, these forms, I've actually got the ability to edit the edges. So if I pick the edge here, I can change that value and say I set that back to 75. I'm going to make this slope. And I'm going to do the same on this edge by picking the edge and changing the value to 75. And I might even do something like edit a vertex where what I'm going to do is drag it up to a specific height. Let's say that goes to 25 feet on the roof. So I've got the option of being able to edit edges, faces and vertexes within the model to create my, my building.